Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Bugs, and today, guys, I got some good news, some decent news, and just news in general. And one of them will be leaks. Um, next will be updates on playtests and more information. And then finally, it will just be normal news about the game and more information about the game. And let's get straight into it. Now, first, guys, the first thing I want to talk about are leaks. Guys, I know leaks aren't always the best thing to trust, but I have high hopes of believing in this leak just from what I've seen. These leaks look like it is impossible to fake. Obviously, I'm not going to, you know, show it just in case of any, you know, I'm trying to get sued pretty much. But I think you could probably like Google it, you know, and you could probably find it. But pretty much the leaks I'm talking about is the characters Gandalf and Rick will be joining the roster for um, MVS. And I can't wait for that. That's exciting. Big Rick fan. Gandalf, eh, but I know he's a cool character and, you know, O-head. So he'll be loving the community. And that's pretty much it for that. I don't really have nothing else to say besides that, you know, those are the possible characters that, that might be coming out to this game for the next like roster update or you know trailers and stuff but let's move on to the actual game updates that um we have and first thing i want to go is with something they said in discord if you didn't know if you're not in their discord i will put that in the description for y'all but pretty much one of the developers um of you know multiverses pretty much said we are preparing something right now you'll likely see in a week or two and he said this on December 13th. You don't see the date right now. It is the 24th. So it's pretty much been a week and a half since he has said this. And it looks like the first week it was not prepared. So it looks like the second week, which will be ending on the 27th, the Monday, is when we'll be getting more information and more updates on this game. Now, um, this next thing I'm going to show you is a tweet. And it's pretty much going to give us a settlement of what we're going to be seeing on Monday with more information. Let's get straight into it. Now, uh, my boy Tony, I don't know what I said. <laughs> my boy Tony uh, hit us with this tweet and he said, Hey, y'all, uh, we learned a lot around the alpha test, test tech, the tech test, and we'll be addressing feedback over the next little while. Once we feel like we are in a good spot for additional learning, we will be doing another test. Thanks so much for the feedback, and we'll be back with the improvement. This already confirms that we are getting another play test or another test, which could be a beta, it could be closed beta, open beta, but it looks like we're going to be able to test the game out even more and further before the full release. Now, with this information, this let us know that pretty much we are not expecting to see nothing this weekend. You know, it's Christmas weekend. For all of us that did have that Christmas miracle that we were going to get a early Christmas gift for this weekend to play some multiverses to, you know, help them with their feedback. It's definitely not the desire to play the game or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it looks like that has been shut down with this tweet. And it looks like we will not be getting any more information about this game until the Monday, the 27th, which will be the two week dead mark. Hopefully they keep word to it. Hopefully it's not a little bit longer because, you know, they have been silent. But then again, they are working hard and we want we do want a full game. But, you know, we want to help them test that full game out. So, you know, just drop the beta. Come on. But pretty much this lets me know that one, this could also be true about the leaks that we that I just talked about, about Rick and Gandalf. Again, it could be, you know, different characters, but it looks like that could be their, their you know, information that they want to drop and show us or and or it could be about when the next play test will be which they'll let us know on monday and i don't expect it to be the next weekend either because you know it's still around the new years and stuff i feel like it'll be the first weekend of new years or the second weekend of new years which you know in january because you know the holidays you know even though they are working hard they are still human beings they still have other fan they, they have family they have friends they want to um hang out chill because it is the holidays so this is pretty much their break time so yeah so if you had any hype or anything that you know you're checking the discord you're checking twitter every second new videos da, da, da. don't expect anything until monday guys just relax and enjoy the holidays with your family but now let's get into the kind of more updated stuff that we've learned about the game because of tony now let's get straight into it now the first thing first is for my beta testers my boy zentra um has given us some update for that if you've been invited for the first play test but didn't have a PC, will you still be invited to the next console test? And Tony says, I'm pretty sure that is the case. So it looks like, 
you know if you had any issues of playing the game or the beta I mean looks like you will be straight access to the next um, beta and since it seems a little bit difficult for them to I guess know what was the reason of why you wasn't playing the beta it looks like anyone that got an access before will get access to the next one so if you already had access to the game no worries to you you don't have to worry about you know signups or worrying about if you're gonna get the beta or not because it looks like we are guaranteed to get straight into it uh, for the people that did not get to try the beta it looks like you know still have chances to get in but yeah and it also looks like we're gonna be getting um, a play test with crossplay um, for the next beta test because they want to you know guess try that out and see how that runs and see make sure it's smooth and everything and yeah let's go on to the next tweet uh, next tweet is by yours truly <laughs> You know, I, I, I had to ask my questions because I just want to know, you know, more information about the game before it drops. And also, you know, like I said, help them out and like give them ideas and stuff. And my my question, which I feel like should be um, added in a lot of games is, hey, I got a question on blocking people in game. Will this stop being um, able to queue with them random and with them randomly um, and going against them? Or will it just be a can't add them, can't text them feature? And Tony goes on to say, currently it blocks both queues and communication do you think it should only be communication and i pretty much just agree with him i was like nah this is perfect but <clears throat> at least for rank play like obviously for casual play and you know when you're pub pubbing and stuff it should block that person completely you shouldn't be able to see that person text them talk to them add them anything but for rank play i think it should stop texting stop adding stop queuing with them but i think you should still be able to go against them as an opponent one because you want to shit on them for any reason why you want to block them and two it kind of defeats the purpose of rank play you know if if you block people because they're better than you you could pretty much get away from never playing with them and climbing the rank leaderboards and then that you know fucks with that and all that stuff and it looks like they really wanted to make this a competitive game so definitely queuing with the person that should be blocked you know for trolls people that like to do scummy things for any reason why they don't like you to play bad and then you block them but you still go against them you know because it's still a rank gameplay and etc you know for 2v2s and all that stuff but let's go on to the next tweet now the next tweet we have someone um girly pretty much this asking about a tutorial you know will there be a tutorial for this game obviously almost every game has one but you know you never know um with any game nowadays too but pretty much what my man Tony said is there will be a tutorial and they will cover the basics and also the um, advanced mechanics. And it looks like they're trying to improve it over time. I'm not sure what they could do to improve it over time because pretty much if you have a tutorial that shows the basics and the advanced mechanics, the only thing you could do possibly is give player combos and those feedback from characters. And that would be something cool I would love to see. Since, it's, it, since this is going to be a competitive game, uh, I would love to see you know tutorials explaining I guess pro combos and pro movesets um throughout you know the characters because that would be a phenomenal thing to do for people that want to learn and don't understand how to do those type of moves and you know those combo strings so that would be an amazing if they could implement that down the line from the game obviously not the beginning but you know once their pro scene is you know started up and they actually have their pros and stuff and just players in general that, that and they find out like common combos that people do that'd be awesome to have that in the tutorials in the future and now finally going to our final news <clears throat> that is up to date of the 24th will be um, for my boy Steven and even more just asks will there be custom you know announcers for the game whether it be fighters or not you know examples like Steven and all them Pearl and all that etc and pretty much my boy Tony said we can definitely consider it that if there's a lot of interest we'll try to make it happen so the fact that he said they could definitely consider it means that they are definitely looking into it or they could definitely see themselves doing it easily because it's just you know an announcer and that's pretty cool you know I'm, I'm happy to see this game going through all the customization you know when it comes to skin when it comes to characters when it comes to now um announcers um finishes if you saw the tutorial the, the the trailer with the that's all folks you know it looks like they're definitely looking into all this stuff so this is amazing to see because of the customization in this game and that is pretty much all the information that i have for y'all today guys um also i guess it's like a little bonus um information that i guess i learned recently by going through the discord is that this game will have an early access as in like when the game is out for you know a limited people at the beginning or if you have to buy in for any reason like other games do but pretty much um i guess there's an nda for the beta test and stuff so this pretty much just know that there will be a chance to be able to play the game a little bit before the game is fully released too. So, you know, that's cool. <laughs> but that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything. Comment if you have questions that you think I should ask Tony. Or, you know, 
just questions that you just want to talk um, around with your peers in the comic section, you know, and we can just chat it out because, you know, we're just so excited for multiverses. I cannot wait for this game to drop and grind it and make content and just everything and compete in it. But yeah, and this is the first time ever watching one of my videos, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on the side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out